Hi guys, my name is Terry. In this video, I'm going to go through with you the additional mathematics from 5 at maths textbook question for chapter 1 circular measure formative practice 1.3. If you enjoyed this video, kindly like, subscribe, or leave us a comment if you have any question. Now let's get straight to the first question. The diagram shows a sector EOB with center O and another sector PAQ with center A. So it is given OB is 6 cm, OP equals O. AB and this angle PAQ is 0 0.5 so the half length is 4.2 calculate the angle theta so very simple we already know the length of this arc and we know the radius of the bigger sector which is 6 cm so we're just going to use s equals to r theta s equals r theta your length of arc is 4.2 your radius is 6 theta is what we're finding so use your calculator 4.2 divided by 6 you will get 0.7 radian. Yeah, remember when you use the formula s equals r theta, your angle is always in radian. Okay, b. Find the calculate area of the shaded region. Now, to find the area shaded region, we'll just take a bigger sector, which is this OAB. You subtract the smaller sector, which is PAQ. So, take the big sector. Remember, formula for area sector is half r square theta. Let me write down here half. R square theta. The radius for the big sector is 6. So you put 6 here, square root theta is 0 0.7. And the radius for a smaller sector is 3. Now, how do I know it's 3? Because the question says that OP equals to AP. That means these two are equal length. So if this 6 you divide by 2, you should get 3 and 3. So you subtract half 3 square times this angle here, which is 0 0.5 radian. Now use your calculator type it up, you should get 10.35 cm squared. Okay, this one is fairly simple, right? Okay, moving on to question number two. Now, diagram on the right shows sector V O W with uh, center O and radius 5 cm. Now, O W equals O V equals V W. That means this is an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle would have interior angle that, that are equal. That means we take 180 divided by 3, you get 60. Or in radian, we will take pi divided by 3. We know total angle uh, for triangle is 180, but in radian, we don't use 180 degree, we use pi radian. Huh? Remember, 180 degrees pi radian. We'll just divide by 3. Now use your calculator. And remember, in textbook, we use pi as 3.142. And if you divide it, you should get 1.047. Radian. All right, that is part A. Yeah? Part B, calculate area shaded segment. Okay, personally, I like to use a formula for area segment, and I, I always teach my students how to use this formula. Whenever you have a sector of a circle, okay, let me just use exactly this sector here. We subtract this triangle. Now, we know if this is a sector, meaning these two length must be the same, R and R. This angle is theta. Area of sector is half r square theta. Area of triangle, remember in form 4, chapter 9 solution triangle, we use half a b sine c. So we use half a b sine c. In this case, we use half r times r is r square. Sine angle between is theta. So we can just put them together and write this as half r square theta minus sine theta. This is a very useful formula when it comes to calculating area segment. Right, so here we can use area equals to half. Your radius is now um, 5 squared. My theta is 1.047 minus sine 1.047. Oops, no space. Now, remember, when you use this formula, your angle must be in radian. No, normally, we would uh, denote this with a superscript r to indicate that it's in radian. Now, and remember to use your calculator in radian mode. Change your calculator to radian mode. Yeah, I hope you know how to use that. Now, use your calculator and calculate. You should get 2.263. Yeah, yeah, type in your calculator. Now, on the other hand, some, some students, they prefer to use a more traditional method. That is, they, they will split this into two. Now that we know this is equilateral, we know this angle. Uh, you either use Sokatoa or we know this is 6 sorry 5 cm you take half of 5 which is 2.5 to find the height of the triangle 
we can say h is now 5 square minus 2.5 square square root and you will get square root 18.75 okay, it's a bit ugly let me fix this 18.75 so if you want to use this you can use area sector half r square theta minus half the base is 5 and the height here h is square root 18.75 now the difference is just a slight difference in the value in the answer your answer is 2.262 square c yeah you can even do that yeah but the textbook answer is 2.263 yeah okay so i will i will use the first one yeah? it's, it's much easier all right moving on to question number three so here we have a cone and uh, the radius is 3, height is 4. When it's opened up, it forms a sector POQ as shown on the right. So given that angle POQ is theta radian, find the value of theta. Now we know if you roll this up as we as in we take this point here P, we join with Q, we roll this up. This line over here, maybe I'll highlight for you the blue line here, it will stick together with OQ. OQ and OP will stick together to find to, to form the slant height of your cone so the radius of this sector over here is really the slant height of this cone over here now you can see uh, the radius of your cone is 3 the vertical height of your cone is 4 so if you use Pythagoras look, this is your cone your slant height is this is 4 this is 3 your slant height normally we use the symbol s okay but please don't get confused this slant height with the length of arc s equals r is a different thing or maybe I just don't call it S. Yeah, we know this part here will be just 4 square plus 3 square square root, which gives us 5. So I'm just going to call it 5, right? So your slant height is 5. So that means your radius of sector POQ is also 5. Okay. So the next thing is we know also that if I take this, uh, maybe I highlight this with the red color here, the red color here, which is the circumference of your cone if you when you open up the layout here it would actually be the same as the length of arc POQ so we know that circumference of the base circle of your cone is the same as length of arc of your sector POQ okay you don't have to write the statement huh? so now we know formula for circumference is 2 pi r so for your radius here, we use 3. Eh? You can see that the radius here is 3. It must equal to the length of arc POQ, which is r theta. Your radius r is 5. Theta is unknown. So your theta is, we can use a calculator, 6 over 5 pi. Now remember your text will always use 3 common for 2. So you type that in your calculator. You should get 3.770 in radian. All right. That is only the first part. So the second part, you're finding the area of sector POQ. This is quite simple. Now that I know the radius, I know the angle. We use half r square. Your radius is 5. Your theta is 3.770. Type in your calculator, you should get 47.13. Okay. Simple. That is question number 3. Okay, moving on to question number 4. Now, diagram on the right shows circle with center O and radius of 4 cm. It's given that minor arc length KL is 7 cm. State the value of theta in radian. Okay, very simple. This arc has the length of 7 cm. The radius is 4. So we just use S equals R theta. Theta is 7 divided by 4, which gives us 1.75 radian. Okay, next one. Find the area of major sector KOL. Okay, major sector, we are referring to this sector over here. Oops, so ugly. I hope you can see that. Huh? The radius is still 4. Um, maybe I just erase this. It's a bit hard to see. So, but this length of this, uh, this angle KOL major, major means the bigger one, we must use 2 pi minus theta, 1.75. Remember, one whole turn is 360. Yeah, in degree is 360. In radian is 2 pi radian. So, if you want to find um, the area, 
we have to use half the radius is 4 you square it your theta is now 2 pi minus 1.75 again please use 3.142 yeah type your calculator you should get 36.27 all right yeah again this is fairly simple I would say all right question number five now diagram on the right is a O is the center of the circle with radius 9 cm a minor a b minor arc a b subtend subtend an angle of 140 the center and tangent a b meets at c calculate e c okay now one thing uh, in form three you learn about this uh, whenever a line touches a circle at one point we say the line is a tangent to a circle and it's always 90 degree and if you extend this line okay and i draw another tangent over here this is also 90 degree take note these two must be equal length because your radius are equal length and these two angle must also be the same so the middle line is what we call a bisector angular bisector in fact these two angle over here must also be the same okay so with that we can now find the length of ac but first we need to uh, split this into two and we know this is a right angle triangle so let's redraw here over here this is a o c and a o b has an angle 140 when you bisect in the middle 140 divided by 2 is just 70 the radius is 9 cm right so to find the length of a c we have to use sokatoa that is this is my opposite this is my adjacent and o c is my hypotenuse so we use tangent so tangent angle 70 equals your opposite AC hypotenuse OC OC uh, sorry we, we don't use hypotenuse we use adjacent 9 sorry 9 uh. tangent is opposite over adjacent so let's take 9 and multiply over. now remember to use your calculator in degree mode because this is tangent 70 degree yeah? previously when you, you probably have changed the calculator to radian mode when you're using the angle in radian uh. remember calculator mode affects uh, the usage of so to sine cos tangent when you type sine 1 degree is different from sine 1 radian uh, tangent 70 degree is different from tangent 70 radian but when you use a equals half r square theta s equals r theta it doesn't matter what calculator mode that you're in yeah it works right so it's only affecting uh, uh, your calculation when you use so all right so let's multiply over my ac will be 24.73 very big value uh. okay this is part a part b we are finding the area of the kite now look at the kite where is the kite this kite is here one two three four basically we just take the triangle times two area triangle times two okay to find area triangle um your ec is not a nice number so um it is it's not it's not a nice number but it's okay you can just take half times base times height remember your base and height for triangle must be perpendicular to each other since they're perpendicular here we can just use area of the kite as two times of the triangle your area triangle is half your base let's say is nine your height is 24.73 my answer is 222.57 all right c now we are finding area of minor sector oab okay when we say minor sector we are referring to maybe use something mild, not so strong yeah this one yeah like the color uh, this is your minor sector a o o a b yeah? so i need to calculate this area so this is area uh, you want to call this a1 this is a2 yeah this will be half r square theta your theta is 140 yeah? but please convert it to radian remember when you use s equals r theta or a equals half r square theta your angle is always in radian so you multiply pi and please use 3.142 uh, 3.142 and then you should get 90 98.97 okay all right i think the text will give 98.98 i don't know why suppose 98.97 uh, you can you can uh, double check yeah use your calculator and double check okay all right lastly part d area of shaded region now you can see uh, to get your shaded region to find your shaded region we'll just take this um a kite like shape you minus this sector you will get your shaded region okay my shaded region should look like this 
sorry if it's ugly yeah but yeah ugliness is not crime now anyway my area of the kite is 222.57 this is your shaded area of your sector is 98.97 so when you subtract you should get 123.6 okay take note that your textbook gives answer one as 123.59 i think it's because the earlier part they gave the answer as 9 either i think when it's supposed to be 9 7 all right that is question number five okay so this is still okay la, not so challenging the next one question number six ah this one you use a bit of brain a bit a bit more challenging a bit yeah not not very challenging okay diagram on the right show circular ventilation window in the hall b q r is a major uh, of a circle with center s line o b o r and the circle four panels are identical right the other four panels are identical so blah 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 the length of o s is 6 o s r is 60 show that r s is 3 cm now i know it's a bit small a bit hard to see so i'm going to draw a bigger version for you just that i'm afraid i may not have enough space uh, okay, the bigger version, let me draw here. This is your sector circle. This is the middle line. This is a tangent. This is a tangent. So this is 90 and 90. So this angle is 60. This is my P, Q, R, S, and this is my O. Okay, it is given that this OS here is 6 here. And you're supposed to find the length of RS. So for RS, I think we can just use Sokatoa, all right? So I use um, cos. A uh, Why cos? Uh, because your adjacent, okay, let me highlight here. This is my opposite. 6 is my hypotenuse. SR or RS is my adjacent, correct? So I don't know my opposite. I know my hypotenuse. And I want to find adjacent. So cos 60 is RS divide by 6 so use your calculator in degree mode right? degree a cost 16 degree times 6 you should get 3 cm so how that's how you show rs equals to 3 okay next calculate the area of panel opqr the opqr we are referring to this whole area here that means we are adding this sector together with this triangle okay let me use this triangle this triangle together right so now let's count but yeah I do it here so your area of sector if I know this is 60 and 60 this should be 100 uh, 120 in total PSR minor PSR major should be 240 now I say this again now huh? why 240 360 minus 120 minus 60 minus 60 yeah? which is 240 so we can find the area of sector, no problem. Your radius is 3. You square it. Your theta is 240. But please convert to radian by multiplying the pi over 180. And remember to use 3.142. But I still need to add the two triangle. Now, the problem is I do not know what's the length of OR. So here we can use, uh, I think, Pythagoras. Yeah, will be quite easy. My OR is 6 squared minus 3 squared square root. Now, you can also use Sokatoa. If you want to use sine 60 equals to OR divided by 6, you can. All right, so here, I if I use Pythagoras, 6 squared is 36, you minus 3 squared, 9, 36 minus 9 is 27. I'll leave it as root 27. Now, if you use the silver calculator or the black and white calculator, you will get 3 set 3. It's the same, huh? they simplify the set. The calculator will simplify the set for you. So we're going to add these two triangles. Uh, since there are two of them, so I'm just going to write 2 times of half times base times height. Yeah, your base is 3 your height is 27 you can do the other way around you can times 27 times 3 same same thing eh? okay so let's add this up your answer is 34.44 cm all right okay next the window has uh, a rotational symmetry at o yeah in the end to the end order okay i hope you still remember your form 2 work eh? Rotational, what is a rotational symmetry? Rotational symmetry means, like for example, if I give you a triangle, I have a, this, this point here. When I rotate one, the first time I rotate it, the dot will be over here. 
the second time I rotate it, the dot will be over here. Okay, the third time you rotate it, the dot will be back here. All right. So the question is, um, how many different position I can get when you rotate it for 360? Now, order of rotation symmetry, the minimum is one. You can always get like uh, an object that has no rotation symmetry has order of one. So for equilateral triangle, you have three yeah? order of rotation symmetry. When you rotate 360, you, this is the first point, second point, this is your third point, right? This is if you go back to the original position, okay? So uh, equilateral triangle has order of symmetry of three. Uh, square will have order of symmetry of four. But look at the diagram here, right? So maybe I start with point P, okay, uh, point, point Q here, let's say a point here, when you rotate it, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, you go back, so it's 5, uh, 5, order of rotation symmetry of 5, so your N is just 5. Okay, but how do you calculate the area label T. Okay, I, I need to draw a bigger version for you, so I'm going to move this up a little bit, right? So, since I don't have enough space, so, okay, you can just imagine, we can see the one on top. So, I'm going to draw a bit bigger circle here, you can see. Now, when you break it up into five parts, so I'm going to draw the middle line here, one, so this is two, three, four, five, now when you take 360, you divide by 5, you get 72. So each part of this has angle 72 in between, right? And just look at this, if I join this together, join this together, can you see this? Right? So this is still the same shape that we have just now, the, uh, should I draw like this, can you see that? Right? This is a tangent. So. If you want to find the shaded region T, you need to look at this sector in the middle here with the angle 72, this sector here, right? And then you need to subtract, um, okay, let me shade this, huh? this part here, can you see? And also this part here. So this is actually a triangle and half of the sector over here, see? It's a triangle the green triangle and half of this sector up here. Now, when you combine these two together, what do you have? You have the two green triangles. When you combine, let's say, use blue, uh, this and this together, so what do you have? You have this yellow part here, these two combined together. So basically, when you combine together, we are actually getting the same shape that we're getting just now. Okay, so I just put them together as one, Maybe I draw like this. Okay, it's 90 degree here. Another one here. Join this together. So actually subtracting this end, this area. Am I right? Okay, so by taking area of this sector half, your radius, okay, by the way, question, what is the radius of this? Now, you, if you look at the diagram here, can you see, this is your hypotenuse just now, right, which is 6, right, can you see it's 6, this is a small radius, which is 3, okay, I know it's a bit too many lines, they're hard to see sometimes, okay, so maybe I just rub this off again, can you see, this is, previously we got this to be 6, the radius is 3, so you join this together, this is also 3, am I right? It's a radius of the sector. So your total length from O to Q is actually 9. So these two are 9. So we use half R square theta. Theta is 72. You get the times with pi over 100 D. Then you minus the area that we've got earlier from part B, this area here, which is 34.44, right? Now use your calculator. You should get now oh, just to double check this is 50.90, this is 34.44, and your final answer is 16.46 square cm. So a bit hard to see. You might have to draw like what I've done here, draw this out, split into five uh, equal sectors, yeah, so that you can see that it's actually a sector 
here minus the same shape that we got over here all right so that's the end of our uh, discussion for this uh, practice so if you are interested in more workbook that we have yeah you can find us from shopee or whatsapp us or if you enjoy my teaching you want to come to my class you can join our classes yeah by contacting us thank you very much for watching i see you in the next video